All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. A near-perfect combination of boxing ability and technique. Few guys have been able to hold up when it comes to this guy's boxing acumen, and he'll be trying to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. And what really has helped him is his ability to defend takedowns. It discourages his opponents from shooting on him. So then they are forced to stand in the boxing range. No one manages distance better. No one understands getting in range and in out of range better than this guy. And the moment you're stuck there, you are a lame duck. He is going to find you. He's a sniper. The jab always lifts the chin. The right hand follows. And if you are able to withstand that, you got to watch for everything coming after it. And I love watching him land that beautiful left body shot as he ends a lot of his combinations. Yeah, and we talk so much about his offense, but his defense as a boxer, right? The head's never oh, on the center John, line. It's almost beautiful. like his head's detached from his body. Truly a sight to behold. We'll see if he can put forth another shining performance here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Levine. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 243 pounds. Fighting out of New Delhi, India, Russia. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds. Fighting out of New York, Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. All right, so we got two classically trained strikers here. Any chance this fight actually goes to the ground? This fight does not go to the ground. This is when fought in the pocket. Two guys will stand in front of each other. They will trade punches. They will trade kicks. It's going to be a classic matchup that you normally see inside of a ring. You get it in the octagon tonight. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the two. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch landed. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take minutes of those kicks. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. 
on. He lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting the feet on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up. He gets the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Just over three minutes now to go. Beautiful head kick. Throwing that jab, no good. Ooh, what a punch. And they separate. He's looking to land the right, just out of range. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. There's no give on that leg kick. Back and forth we go. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. That was fun, again. Nice strike. Oh, huge block! That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, collar tie. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The night is almost over. If you keep getting hit with punches like this, you are going to sleep. He's driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and landing those beautiful punches. Really has got it the point that I know. Gets the elbow up into the target. Try to establish that jab. Oh, big roundhouse attempt. Just misses. That could have been lights out. Man, how good is his right hook count? Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Nice kick. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Wow. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 15 seconds. He blocks the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, so no surprise. Once again, we find ourselves here in this clinch situation. We'll see who can advance. Who's gonna be the person to dictate the pressure? Who's gonna control the engagement from this 50-50 position? All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. All right, here we go with our next round. Lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coach yells, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his right. corner. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Whoa! All right, he 
He's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, how powerful speed on that reversal there. I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. He engages in the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch, man. Oh, nice job to slip off the center line there. His head movement has been a huge, huge factor defensively in this fight. You can never be a stationary target. So even if the feet aren't moving, you got to be ready to flip that head at a moment's notice. Big kick lands. Oh, spinning back fist. Got the single collar tie. Oh, he eats a knee. Lips. Unable to land with that punch. Oh, here we go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. He lands a big knee to the body. Just a slip there. Look at how he turns his hip over wow. and throws that kick. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Big knee to the body. Good punch. Let's go. Right on the button. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut, that is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back in range. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, nice combination, yeah. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Just missed with the left there. up again you gotta like that all right so once again the fighters engage in the clinch we'll see who will have the upper hand here champ. there are so many options to dictate and control this exact position who is going to take advantage of it all right single collar tie now right hand punches the clinch well straight right hand has been a good weapon for him he misses with it there he has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, big head kick land. Final seconds. Punch over the top. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. 
You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not everybody is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound would be a plenty from this position. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side. Underhook, this is a great position for a top fighter. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous man, he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Not there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, he lands a straight punch there. Oh! Look at that. He's in trouble. It's over. It's over. He's done. He's done. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and marched right through it to get the knockout. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're going to get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you got to show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has gone stop for this contest. At one minute, 45 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by... Oh, oh, oh. Right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.